Now the fourth race field is out on post parade for the second Canadian Pacing Derby elimination. One Casimir Kemotion is the defending and 2004 champion of this event. Patrick Lachance driving for M&M Harness Racing. Number two, Metropolitan Dave Miller is in the bike for Norman Gerald Smiley, TLP Stables, and Ted Gords. Three is Escape the Wind, owned by Venture 2000 Early Bird Stables with Roger Mayod in the bike. For Tigerama has the services of Ron Pierce, for owner Robert Hamather. Life Source 5 races for Richard Benka, driver George Brennan. Ponder, number 6, owned by John Fielding, CSX, Bob McIntosh Stables, Jack Moisev is in the bike. Arts Chip, number 7, with Mark Evers, for Hans Yusefchik, Sally Yusefchik, and Velocity Standard Breads. Luke Willack, the driving partner for Greg Pistuccini, the A to Z in Roadkill. And number nine, Great Expense. Owned by Gestion Autozain, Gaetan Bono, Chris Christophe Roux to drive. Fourth race is the start of the win four. There's a pick three and exactor, triactor, win place and show. Post time from Woodbine at 8.43. Field enters the stretch for the fourth race and second 2005 elimination of the Canadian Pacing Derby. And they're off. Shooting the gap on the inside was Casimir Kemotion right on through. Tigerama, life source, very fast off the switch. Metropolitan takes to the inside fourth. There's Escape the Wind, edging up on the outside into the top five, but he may have to back off. Then Ponder, Arch Chip, second to last Eden Roadkill, and Great Expense is the early trailer. And life source drags George Brennan to the lead. In 25 and 3, life source took over. Escape the Wind is still held out there on the outside. Outside. Tiger Ramos sat in the pocket over to the back stretch. Casimir Kemotion now back and forth. Escape the wind is parking to the three eights and beyond. Uh, they swing into the back stretch. Ponder comes up on the outside. Now sixth. Arch Chip back in seventh. Eden Roadkill is eighth. And Great Expense is ninth and trailing. Escape the wind is up to take over the lead from Life Source. Few strides before the half. Tiger Rama now back in third. And Ponder comes first over. Casimir Kemotion stayed in. 55 and 1. Just 29 and three in the second quarter escape the wind getting it his own way on the top end ponder working it first over life source is back in the box there's arch chip second over onto the final turn tiger rama still along in that top five on the inside eden roadkill made it up to sixth at the outside casimir cam ocean may need out from seventh if he's going to qualify to try to defend his title then second to last was metropolitan and great expense was ninth at the top of the stretch ponder and escape the wind onto even terms in 123, 27 and 4, third quarter. Ponder comes away with the lead for the final eighth of the mile in the second elimination. Arts chip between horses. Widest of all, Tiger Rama followed in and is moving up. That's Tiger Rama and Ron Pierce in an 11 to 1 upset. Arch chip was second. Ponder third. Life source was fourth. Casimir Kemotion qualified fifth. And Tiger Rama's the winner in 149 and 3. It's number four, Tigerama, returning to the Woodbine Winner's Circle from the second 2005 Canadian Pacing Derby elimination. The Village Jiffy five-year-old from Fearless Flight, owned by Robert Hamather of Exeter, Ontario, trained by Rich Griffiths and driven to victory by Ron Pierce for the double thus far on the card. And the third in 16 this year, a life's mark, 149-3 for Tigerama. Congratulated in the Woodbine Infield Winner's Circle by H. Barry Hewson, Director of Racing for the Standard Red Circuit at Woodbine and Mohawk for Woodbine Entertainment Group. 
Barry Houston makes the trophy presentation to the second Pacing Derby elimination winner, Tiger Rama and Connections. Our expanded coverage will continue live in the winner's circle in just a few moments with Greg Blanchard. An upset in the second elimination tonight of the uh, Canadian Pacing Derby. Tiger Rama, an off-the-pace winner for Ron Pierce. Ron, uh, your first time up behind him. Uh, just walk us through the trip, and did it unfold the way you thought it might? Uh, yes, it did. It went ex you know, exactly the way I thought it would go. Uh, uh, we were lucky. Um, uh, this little horse was real sharp tonight, and uh, when I tipped, tipped him out there at the head of the stretch and showed him some racetrack, he, he dug in and just paced strong all the way to the wire. What did you get to know about the horse just prior to the race? Excuse me? Uh, what were you able to find out about the horse prior to the race? Uh, that he likes to leave and he likes to cover and then he likes to go fast on the end. <laughs> uh, just look ahead uh, tonight as well to the North America Cup. Um, the complexion has changed for you a lot in the last week. Uh, I know disappointed last week with Village Jolt. Um, first of all, do you have an update on uh, the status of that colt? Well, he came up with uh, uh, a bad virus. I, I thought he had the flu, but it was a virus instead. So they started him on some uh, real strong antibiotics and... Uh, they're going to run those through him for, for a week or so, and hopefully it'll knock it out of him. And then uh, they're going to have to work on getting his strength back up, and uh, hopefully uh, when he comes back he'll be good and sharp. Yeah, we look forward to seeing him back on top of his game. Um, talk about the catch drive you pick up tonight, uh, Tide Water, a long shot coming in. What will your approach be? Well, I, I'm just going to go behind the gate and see how he feels, and then... Um, and since I've never, never raced him before, I don't know much a whole lot about him, but I'll, I'll, I'll see what he, how he feels and uh, um, see what everybody else is doing and just take it from there. Hoping for the same luck uh, you had here with Tiger Rama. Congratulations and good luck in the big one tonight. Thank you. That's Ron Pierce. We'll see him later on tonight in the North America Cup, and he gets it done here in the second Canadian Pacing Derby elimination in upset fashion with Tiger Rama.